Good morning, I'm Trish Pahanik and this is Synopsis, your first early morning briefing. Today is Tuesday, March 2nd, 2010. Here are today's top stories. Starting today, WABC-TV Channel 7 in New York will begin running messaging on air to alert local Cablevision subscribers that as of 12.01 a.m. Eastern Time on Sunday, March 7, 2010, many viewers may lose access to the station due to failed negotiations. ABC's messages will point consumers to a website, www.saveabc7.com, for future information. E gave a thumbs up to a sophomore season of Courtney and Chloe Take Miami. The sister duo will appear in 10 new episodes slated to debut this summer. TLC announced it is not renewing the Miss America pageant following the end of its three-year deal with the pageant organization. NBC is renewing the sing-off, the a cappella singing competition show which aired four episodes last December, cites THR. And members of Fox's Glee cast are embarking on a live four-city stage tour titled Glee Live in Concert. Beginning May 18th, Glee's co-creator Ryan Murphy says this tour is in response to the show's fan base and is a personal way of saying thank you. TLC brings back Steve and Katie Hatch in a new series, Little Chocolatiers, beginning March 30th at 10 p.m. Bravo introduces viewers to Bob and Courtney Navigrats, who are headlining the network's new docuseries, Nine by Design. Now, the series makes its debut April 13th at 11 p.m. and then moves to its regular time slot of 10 p.m. on Tuesdays on April 20th. Fuel TV premieres new series, Bubba's World, on March 28th at 10 p.m. The series follows the daily life of motocross racer James Bubba Stewart, of course. Meanwhile, over at the Travel Channel, their host Camille Ford travels America in the new series Food Wars, which will debut March 9th at 10 p.m. At each destination, Camille will lead blind taste tests using some of the nation's iconic foods such as buffalo wings in Buffalo and Italian beef sandwiches in Chicago. OWN, the Oprah Winfrey Network, acquired the television rights to the Academy Award-nominated film Precious, based on the novel Push by Sapphire and produced by Lionsgate. To date, Precious has tallied more than $45 million in the domestic box office and has earned six Oscar nominations. The television syndication company TVs picked up the U.S. syndication rights for the DIY home improvement series, Ron Hazleton's House Calls, which will begin with the 2010-2011 season. And just as FX drama Nip Tuck airs its series finale this week, series star Dylan Walsh and Jolie Richardson have landed new pilot roles. Walsh will star in CBS untitled Michael Dinner Pilot. It's about an ATF agent who is struggling to balance career and family. And Richard joins the cast of ABC's The Whole Truth about a court case from the perspective of both the defense and the prosecution. TV Land gave a series order to the pilot Hot in Cleveland, making it the network's first original scripted series, cites THR. Stars Valerie Bertinelli, Jane Leaves, and Wendy Malick, who play three eccentric 40-something friends. Betty White also stars as a cantankerous neighbor to the threesome. And on that note, that's a wrap. Be sure to check your email for the full printed version of today's synopsis with new executive moves and more on ratings, some new classified ads, a few other bits and pieces that did not make it into this podcast, and check out tonight's primetime broadcast lineup. This is a Synopsis Media production in association with 311 West. For Cynthia Turner, who wrote a compiled synopsis in Connecticut, I'm Trish Pahanik. I'm going to have a good day. If I make it myself, I'm gonna have a good day. I don't need no one else. I'm gonna have a good day. Nothing wrong I could do. I'm gonna have a good day. Hope you have a good day too.